Okay, so in this example, they ask us to draw the following graph on the interval negative uh, 195, that should be degrees, and 255 degrees. And here they give us that y is equal to cos of x minus 1. So remember our steps that we are going to do. We are going to find the center. Okay, find the center. And then on the center, we're going to draw the center line. Okay, center line. Okay, and we are also going to start there. The second part we're doing is we mark off the um, mark off the period. We mark off the period, and then we divide the period into four pieces. Okay, the third thing we do is we mark off the amplitude the amplitude and finally the fourth thing is we do any shifts okay the fourth thing we do is we determine the direction Determine direction. Okay. Now with that in mind, let's get started. Okay, so to find the center, we take whatever is inside our um, function and make it equal to zero. So in this case, we have x is equal to zero, and that's for cos. And we see that if x is equal to zero, cos of zero is equal to one. Okay, so when x is equal to 0, cos is equal to 1. So there is my center or my starting point. Okay, the center line is, uh, sorry, when x is equal to 0, cos is equal to 1. But after the 1 comes out, we subtract that 1 and our answer is zero so when x is equal to zero cos of x minus one will also be equal to zero now for our center line we are going to draw a center line and our center line is given by that value that's added or subtracted outside of our cosine function at negative one so there we go that is our center line right there. y is equal to negative 1. And, okay, now we are marking off our period and dividing it into 4. So our period is 360 divided by p. In this case, p is what's in front of the x. What's multiplying the x? There is absolutely nothing multiplying the x. So it's 360 divided by 1, which is 360, which means this should actually go further up to 360. Okay, so at 360, half of that is 180. Okay, half of 180 is 90. Okay, and here would be 270, be more or less there. Okay, and the same in the negative direction, we would have 100. 360 somewhere here. It's not important because it falls outside of what we need to draw. Uh, but then 180 is half of that, and uh, 90 is half of that. The only reason why I extended it on this side is just so that I can get the shape more or less right as I'm approaching this point here. Okay, so the difference between cos and sine is that sine starts on the center line and cos starts on the amplitude. So you'll notice when we mark off the amplitude in the next step, the amplitude is now uh, one unit, y1, because the amplitude is that uh, the positive value of, or the positive part of the value that's in front of the uh, ratio and in this case it's a 1 so we must go one unit above negative 1 that would be 0 that's one unit above is there and one unit below is down there so you'll notice that this will always be smaller than 0 
and greater than negative 2 okay and now we have to start there now the next is to determine direction now the thing about cos is that even if it does flip around or reflect in the y-axis because it looks like this well let me draw this one this specific one for you and you'll see okay so if I start there I will reach zero here I will reach my minimum there and I'll be back at zero there or on my center line I mean okay and same in this way I go there and back there okay so now if I draw it there we go only up to there draw it in this direction only up to there and there you can see that looks pretty good doesn't it okay now notice that even if I were to rotate or to reflect in my y-axis nothing would change in other words when there's a negative in front of my x that's when I re uh, reflect in the y-axis I still have the original okay but if I were to reflect in the uh, center line okay if I were to reflect in the center line that would look like this negative cos of X okay then the graph would actually change okay so then it would look like that okay so when there is a negative in front of the X we don't need to worry about it. If there was a negative in front of the cos, then it would have to change direction. And instead of start at, instead of starting on the top amplitude, it will start at the minimum amplitude. Instead of starting on the maximum, it will start on the minimum. Okay. Uh, I hope that is clear. And this first example is quite basic. Uh, the next one will probably be, probably be a little bit more difficult. See you then.